Rome, Italy. Exploring Rome's Trionfel neighborhood. A stroll on Monte Mario's southern slope with stunning views of Foro Italico. Our totally unplanned walk today took us through the northwest section of Rome. We left our hotel in the morning and experienced an upward climb on Mount Mario's southern slope in the Trionfel neighborhood. From a distance, we were able to see the Astronomical Observatory of Rome. We took a short break at a pleasant community garden with a nearby grocery store for light refreshments. Then we hiked through the Monte Mario Nature Reserve with great views of Rome below. Eventually, we made our way to the colossal sports complex of the Italian Forum. It contains the Olympic Stadium, the Fountain of the World, the Stadium of the Marbles, and a large building for the Italian National Olympic Committee. Nearby, we also saw Mussolini's Obelix. Following the River Tiber South, we entered the Prati neighborhood and had an awesome lunch at Three Quarters Restaurant. Then we returned to our hotel to claim our bags and head out to our next destination. It is our third and final day in Rome. We leave for Naples in the afternoon, so we decide to head out from our hotel in a northwest direction just to randomly explore. On the way, there were several unkept trails and at times we had to walk along a narrow, curved road. We saw the Astronomical Observatory of Rome in the distance. We finally found a pleasant small community garden near the top where we rested before continuing onward. Well, we're trying to find Mount Mario. <laughs> we uh, did. And we've been walking up quite to the elevation. And even though it's not that warm outside, we're like sweating. But it's an interesting journey and we're finding some interesting trails. So I'm sure we'll eventually find it. Yes, we will. On Monte Mario's southern slope, the Trionfel neighborhood is Rome's highest area. It is primarily a residential area with few tourists. The 14th district of Rome also includes the area known as Valduina. We discovered a pleasant and quiet area called the Monte Mario Natural Reserve, which takes its name from the highest cliff of the Faracena Hills, which dominate the Tiber Valley. The noble families chose the hill as a place of residence due to its dominant position over the city.
Next to the River Tiber, we saw the Olympic Stadium. It is the largest sports facility in Rome, Italy, seating over 70,000 spectators. The structure is owned by the Italian National Olympic Committee and it is used primarily for association football. Fontana della Farsina, the fountain, which is also known as the Fontana del Mondo, Fountain of the World. It reuses the large bronze sculpture that Arnando Pomodora made for the International and Universal Exhibition, Expo 1967, which was held in Montreal in 1967. It reminded me of the sphere within sphere sculpture we saw on the Trinity College grounds in Dublin, Ireland. The Stadium of the Marbles is one of four stadiums in the colossal sports complex of the Foro Italico. The Stadium of the Marbles is encircled by 60 4 meter tall classical statues of athletes made from Carrera marble. Comitato Olimpico Nazionale Italiano Palazzo H was designed by architect Enrico del Debbio in 1927. The first stone was laid by Mussolini in February 1928 and was inaugurated in 1932 as the seat of the Fascist Male Academy of Physical Education. In March 1951, the building then became the headquarters of the Italian National Olympic Committee. Mussolini's Obelix, also known as the Monolith, is now officially known as the Italian Forum Obelix. It was inaugurated in 1932 to mark the 10th anniversary of the fascist regime. On the way back to the hotel, we stopped in at the Three Quarters restaurant for an incredible lunch. The restaurant is located in the Prati neighborhood, an upscale Art Nouveau district. Located west of the banks of the River Tiber, it should not be left undiscovered.